Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Revise Enterprise. Today we're going to have a look at trying to help you guys out with a format question from the BTEC Tech Award in Enterprise, specifically looking at component three. And uh, we're going to have a look at a calculation based question today on assets and liabilities as well. And just for this video, because you are allowed a calculator in the exam, uh, I brought along my uh, my phone or the calculator on my phone here uh, to lend some support with this question as well. So let's try and talk you through this now and hopefully help you get four out of four on this particular section on the exam. So let's have a read through together. So it says, figure one in the question says, shows the assets and liabilities for Olympian Cinema Limited. In the table below, we have fixed assets and a figure. We've got current assets and then a figure here. And then finally, we've got current liabilities with a figure here. Now, just before we go on to the first question uh, and the second question as well, let's just go through a couple of key terms here just to make sure we're confident with all three of these items in the table. So when we're talking about assets, first of all, they are simply items that belong to the business and they're divided into two parts. One is fixed assets which belong in the business for more than 12 months or a year. And then secondly, current assets, which belong in the business for less than a year. With liabilities, they are things that the company owes to other people. In current liabilities, the business or enterprise is owing money to other people within 12 months. So that is the main difference between the two terms. Assets are items. Liabilities is money owed to other people and current liabilities, it needs to be paid back within a year. Now it says, using the information in figure one, calculate the total assets. Now in order to do this question, it's two marks attached to it first of all. You are actually gonna get from the examiner here, if you arrive at the right answer, uh, just in this box here, you'll get two out of two. You do not need to show your workings in order to get two marks here. But for the purposes of this, talking you guys through it and helping you as much as I can, we are going to show the workings in this box to see how we arrive at the right answer. So to work out your total assets, guys, what you need to do is fixed assets here plus your current assets. So let's go ahead and write these figures down so that you can see on the screen. So 270,300 is the fixed assets. And the current assets figure stands at 5,350. Now, if I just take this off the screen so you can't see my passcode quickly, we'll get this on the calculator screen. So if we do 270,300, so if we go 270,300, plus 5,350, that equals 275,650 pounds. So let's go ahead and write this answer in here. So 275,650. Now just underneath these figures here, we're also gonna write down, just to remind you guys, the figure or the correct figure to calculate total assets. So to work it out, it's fixed assets plus current assets. Now we've just put that in brackets just so you can see it clearly on your screen as well. So what we've done there is we've added the fixed assets figure here and the current assets figure here together. And then we've got an answer here of 275,650 pounds. So that in your exam will allow you to get two out of two marks on this question. Now let's go ahead to the second question here. It says using the information in figure one again, so the same table as before, calculate the net current assets. Now when we're talking here, uh, just a, a very quick stop as well, it has two marks attached here. And again, the examiner here is gonna give you two out of two if you can arrive at the right figure here. Net current assets are generally a measure of how effectively the enterprise can pay back its short-term debts. If this figure is positive, that is good. So that means the enterprise is able to pay back its short-term um, liabilities or debts quickly. If it's a negative figure, that is particularly bad for the business or enterprise because it means that they're, they're going to struggle to pay back their short-term debts 
uh, quickly. Now to work out your net current assets here, uh, the um, formula you need to use is the current assets minus current liabilities. So what I'll do this time is I'll write this in the formula just underneath, just so you guys can see it on the screen. So to work out your net current assets, you do current assets minus current liabilities. And again, what I will do to help you is just put that in brackets so you can see that on your screen. So what we're going to do, specifically the figures, 5,350 uh, minus 2,200. And we'll do a little equals here. And I was going to take this off your screen again just so you can't see my passcode. And we'll reset the calculator. So if we do 5,350 minus 2,200, that gives us 3,150 pounds net current assets. So generally speaking here, you can assume that this business might have um, some positivity in paying their short-term debts uh, quickly. Now, of course, because you have uh, a calculator in your exam, it's always good to go back to this question at the end and just double check your figures are correct. So 275,650 for your total assets. So you add together your fixed assets and current assets together. And then to work out your net current assets, you do your current assets minus your current liabilities, which gives us £3,150. I hope that helped you guys uh, out a lot. And um, I really hope that gave you the confidence really to go into an exam now to work out assets and liabilities uh, really, really well. If you like this video, guys, please leave me a like and please subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Thank you very much for watching.